Frequently in programming, you will want to nest one loop inside of another. I'm going to show you how this works and a few things to watch out for. So I have a simple program that is going to request a number of students from the user and accept five test scores for each student, then display the average test scores, which I'm doing after each one because we don't really have a way to do arrays yet. So I create the variable numStudents equals int input how many students do you have. Then I have for student in range num students. So I set the range here, but be aware this counts zero to whatever is put in. It does not start counting with one. I initialize total equal to zero and then I do another for loop for score in range one comma six. So I'm starting at one and counting to six so that'll be one, two, three, four, five instead of zero through five. And I have a current score, int input, what is the score for the test? Then I add the current score to the total and print the average score for student, comma, student plus one is total divided by five. Now this works, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to put in simply two students, and then we put in a bunch of scores. And it gives me the average for student one, and then it loops for the next student. And so it will give you the average at the end of each one. Now what I wanted to do is to ask what is the score for the test, except I wanted to do test, and I wanted to, to show number one. So I added a comma and score, which would work if it was a print statement, but it doesn't like that for an input prompt. It will actually break it. So if I tell it that I have two students, it breaks there. So if I want to indicate which student I'm on, there's a couple, or which um, test that I'm on, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm actually going to want to for each student, start with a print student number, make sure you put in your space comma, and then student plus one. And if you're not sure something's going to work, I'm, I'm sure this is going to work, but if you're not sure something's going to work, you should test it after you add a line of code. You don't have to go through everything and test the whole thing. You just have to test that part. So here I'm going to put in a heading of, uh, I'm going to do a heading instead of putting it which for test one, I'm just going to do print test number and then add score here. And since I did score one to six, I shouldn't need to add anything to that. So let's test that. So two students, student one, test number one. What's the score for the test? Test number two, and so on. So be aware of those issues, but this is how you do a simple nested loop.